Jerry emerges from the genetic restructurer and effortlessly kills any Rick that crosses his path with his newfound powers. We all know Jerry is one of the weakest characters in the Rick and Morty series. But what if I told you there's a version of Jerry Smith who's the strongest in the whole multiverse? Sounds too good to be true, right? Welcome to NYFO, I'm Harsh, and this is the story of Doofus Jerry. The comic kicks off with Morty coming home with a small head injury, claiming he got into a fight. Surprisingly, Jerry praises him, implying that this runs in the family. This sparks doubt among the family members whether Jerry has ever thrown a punch in his life. Feeling hurt, Jerry storms out of the room and stumbles upon Rick's portal gun. Seizing the opportunity, he decides to use it to find a universe where he's respected. To his surprise, the portal gun actually works, transporting him to the universe of Doofus Rick, his only Rick friend. They decide to enjoy themselves at an amusement park, unaware they're being watched on security cameras. Soon, they're apprehended by a group of men in suits and taken to meet Doofus Jerry, the most powerful man on earth, the literal definition of success. Jerry assumes Doofus Jerry must be a great guy, and reveals the concept of the multiverse to him. But his impression quickly changes, when Doofus Jerry reveals his intentions to conquer other universes. In exchange for the portal gun, Doofus Jerry offers Jerry a life of luxury in his realm, promising respect and authority. Intrigued by the prospect of finally gaining respect, Jerry hesitates, but ultimately declines, valuing his family over power. However, his refusal doesn't deter Doofus Jerry, who resorts to violence, knocking out Jerry and stealing the portal gun. Now armed with the ability to travel between dimensions, Doofus Jerry becomes the greatest threat to the multiverse, as his first stop being our Jerry's home world. As Doofus Jerry enters, he is instantly captivated by Beth, and awkwardly attempts to impress her, by asking her out to a dinner date. However, he's not just interested in Beth, he's also somewhat interested in Summer, which is really weird. Morty, having been through many universes, quickly realizes that this Jerry isn't his dad. Before he can react, Doofus Jerry threatens him, prompting Morty to seek Rick's help. Rick politely asks Doofus Jerry to leave, but Doofus responds by insulting him, calling him an old drunk, leading the two to throw hands. Unfortunately, before Rick can even gather his thoughts, Jerry gets the first shot in. He got on top of Rick before smacking him multiple times, and boasted that Rick had finally met his match. After the incident, a lot of time has passed. Morty goes to wake up Rick, as he can't stand living with any version of Jerry that isn't his dad. Rick reveals that he has tried everything in his power to defeat Jerry, going as far as throwing a cat at him, but nothing seems to work. Rick finally comes to the conclusion that he has been defeated, and as his last resort, he's going to use a neutrino bomb, which would kill every living being on the planet, believing it's better than living in a world where Jerry is so powerful. Morty being rational tries to stop Rick, but their effort go in vain, the moment Jerry enters the garage. He reveals that he has already disarmed it, showcasing just how smart he is. Jerry then mocks Morty and Rick, specifically taunting Morty about his mom sending Morty into a rage. Morty attacks Jerry, but it backfires, prompting Rick to join the fight. But Doofus Jerry defeats both of them without sustaining a single scratch. At this point Rick is just dumbstruck, and reveals that Jerry being this powerful is an imbalance in the universe. Even the most powerful Jerry cannot be this smart and strong. Later, the Citadel arrives through a portal to retrieve Doofus Jerry, and he goes along without much resistance. When they reach the Citadel, Doofus is captivated by the advanced tech surrounding him. However, none of the Ricks find him threatening, and they mock our Rick for his inability to handle a Jerry from the Doofus universe. While Rick is busy proving to the Citadel that this Jerry is no ordinary Jerry, Doofus cunningly slips away unnoticed. By the time they realize his disappearance, it's too late as he had entered the genetic restructurer. As Jerry emerges from the restructurer, the other Ricks realize that in Doofus's universe, Jerry's are the predators and Ricks are the prey. Doofus has transformed himself. His natural pheromones are now lethal to Ricks. This change makes him seem like a god compared to other Jerry's. With his newfound power, Doofus effortlessly kills any Rick who crosses his path. Meanwhile, our Rick manages to survive because of Summer, as he had given her a portal gun and placed her in a pocket dimension. With an evil smile, Doofus announces himself as their new leader. They bow down to him as he takes his place on the throne establishing himself as the most powerful Jerry in the multiverse. Doofus has now kept dozens of Beths, all serving as his queen. But even with all his newfound powers, 
Doofus Jerry's true goal is to find the original Beth and our Rick. Meanwhile, Rick is busy gathering Morty waves from alternate Mortys to protect himself from the Citadel while he works on a giant robot. In the Doofus universe, Rick has finally managed to create Portal Juice. But before Doofus Rick could explain that the Portal Juice is meant to be poured over one's head, Jerry, in his impulsive nature, drinks it straight from the bottle. Their action leads them on a wild journey across the multiverse, encountering various strange and fascinating sights. Eventually, they end up inside Rick's giant robot, adding a new twist to the ongoing conflict. Inside the robot, tensions rise as our Rick gives Doofus Rick a very hard time, while Beth and Jerry engage in a heated argument. But despite their differences, they realize the need to band together to confront the looming threat of Doofus Jerry. With a newfound sense of unity, they set their sights on the Citadel, where they discover that Doofus Jerry has turned the Citadel into a colossal robot version of himself. As the battle kicks off, they notice a crowd of Ricks and Mortys as their audience, eagerly anticipating Doofus Jerry's downfall. Unfortunately, Doofus proves to be a formidable opponent, swiftly decapitating their robot before they can even land a single blow. Doofus Jerry then descends from the sky and proposes to Beth, expressing his desire for her to be his queen. But Beth, disgusted by his collection of Beths, declines his offer. Surprisingly, Doofus Jerry gets down on one knee and professes that he doesn't want her to be part of his collection. He wants her to be the only one. However, Beth rejects him once more, prompting Doofus to reach for his death ray. In a moment of realization, our Jerry steps forward. He declares that he'll save everyone, but immediately gets punched in the stomach, causing him to puke. But it isn't over for our Jerry yet. He somehow manages to expel a bit of portal juice he drank earlier, creating a massive rift in the sky. A worm falls through the portal, landing directly on top of Doofus Jerry, leading to his eventual demise and concluding the epic saga of the most powerful Jerry in the multiverse. Thanks for watching everybody. Also, you should watch the video on your screen right now. YouTube thinks you'll like it, so give it a try. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.